So with this build, there's, um, there's a lot of cantilevers, a lot of unseen engineering. It's really to try to give the building a floating, floating effect and the architects have captured that very well. So this uh, balustrade, it was forged in the UK. The owner's very creative, likes to put a spin on things. Even the handles are from the same web forger. Um, the idea is when you come through the front door, you're confronted with a, a little avenue. So you want to feel like you're going down into something and then um, it opens out to an incredible vista. This earth is, it's been pulled out of the Cadrona Valley. Um, the process is, is that we build a mould around it. They mix it up with a backhoe with, a, with cement and a little bit of water to get a nice consistency so you can squeeze it and it holds its form. The big thing around the rammed earth is there's a lot of engineering elements that need to go on top of it and underneath it to A, support its weight and B, to make sure that the house is sufficiently braced. So the Rimu on the floor and on the ceiling all came out of Christchurch. It's recycled Rimu, which is a good sustainable way to reuse products and you know, it's a good thought, isn't it, that you've got something that has been recycled from an older house and then implemented into a new architectural build like this. This is a mixture of strand board, which has got a tinted Osmo oil, and this is bamboo laminate, which is finished with Osmo oil as well. You might be able to see in the background there that the view shaft is angling straight towards Treble Cone is a local ski resort and everything tends to line up to that. One of the features of this house actually is the windows which are all timber, Siberian larch. They're actually a triple glazed unit. Lift and slides. So by pushing that down it lifts them up off it which is how they seal. 250 kilos for each one of these sliding units. Those 500 kilos, half a tonne that we're just pushing there and you can do it just like that.